The engines on the Fat Controller's railway love Brendam docks. There's always lots of work to keep them busy, and they enjoy seeing new arrivals onto the island of Sodor. An exciting new arrival was an engine Cranky the Crane was unloading. It was heavy. This makes my chain ache, groaned Cranky. This is Harvey, the crane engine, the Fat Controller said proudly. The other engines thought Harvey looked strange. Harvey was happy to be on the ground. He didn't like dangling from Cranky's arm at all. These gentlemen are the railway board, the Fat Controller said. Tomorrow, Harvey will give them a demonstration. If it goes well, he will join the railway. What's a demonstration? Demonstration, said Thomas. It's when you show off what you can do. Like when Thomas and I have a race, said Bertie. Varum, varum. That evening, Thomas had just returned from a hard day's work. He saw Harvey parked near the sheds. Harvey could hear the other engines talking about him. This made him sad. Harvey's different, said Henry. Surely the Fat Controller won't let him pull coaches, sniffed Gordon. He's just cranky on wheels. He doesn't even look like an engine, said James. He's not taking my mail, said Percy. That's a no, said Edward. Harvey might not look like an engine, but he will be useful when time goes on. My lord, you remind me of some of the engines on my old railway. Thomas felt sorry for Harvey. Don't worry, sometimes it takes time to make new friends. But Harvey wasn't sure he wanted to stay where no one wanted him. The next morning, the Fat Controller sent the engines off to a useful day's work. Maybe my coming here wasn't such a good idea, sir, Harvey chuffed sadly. Nonsense, said the Fat Controller. But the engines don't like me, I'm too different. Difference is what makes you special. And that made Harvey feel better. Out on the branch line, Percy was having trouble with trucks. Faster we go, faster we go, pull him along, don't let him slow. Help! cried Percy. His driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. He went off the rails at Bulgy's Bridge. Luckily, no one was hurt. Bertie arrived and was pleased Percy was all right, but he was also very cross. You've blocked the road, Bertie snapped. He was worried he wouldn't get the gentlemen of the railway board to the demonstration on time. When the Fat Controller heard the news, he went straight to Harvey. I need you to rescue one of my engines. I'll do my best, sir. Harvey said bravely, and he set off immediately. Harvey soon arrived and went to work. In no time, Percy was back on the tracks. The gentlemen of the railway board were very impressed. That was the best demonstration of all. The gentlemen of the railway board have decided you shall join the railway. Oh, thank you, sir, said Harvey proudly. That night, Harvey heard the engines talking again. This time, it was different. Well done, Harvey, said Gordon. Very useful, said James. You can take my mail, said Percy. You see, said Thomas, different can be good. All the engines agreed. Welcome to the Soda Railway, they called. Harvey smiled happily. <laughs>